Hi, my name's Gaylord Bridegan. I'm an ergonomist here at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. Today I'm going to give you nine tips for a healthy ergonomic workstation. First of all, let me introduce Leventa Pennington, our subject for today. And we're going to go over some important things. The first tip is the chair. Let's take a look at her situation here. As you can see, she's leaned forward and she's not in contact with the lumbar support. So Lavinda, it would be a lot better for you if you could move back a little bit into your chair so you will have good lumbar support. Now you'll notice the lumbar support is a little bit high. Make sure that you make the proper adjustments and move the lumbar support up or down, whatever is necessary to fit your anthropometric features. Notice the armrest. You see how one is a little bit higher than the other? This can put you into an awkward posture. Tip number two, make sure you have the right keyboard. This is considered an ergonomic keyboard too. It's a standard keyboard. Other types, like a split keyboard, is used for people that have an ulnar deviation. But for most people, the standard keyboard is going to work best. Tip number three is to take micro breaks. Micro breaks are simply taking a break for about 30 seconds to 60 seconds, probably once or twice an hour. Tip number four is to change to a more active workstation, such as a standing workstation. The fifth tip has to do with your monitor and monitor placement. In this particular situation, we have two monitors, and you'll see here, it takes a lot of cervical rotation in order to look at both monitors. So probably the best setup is to move the primary monitor directly in front of you and the secondary monitor right next to that. The other thing I want you to concentrate is tip number six, which is making sure that when you look straight out, make sure that you're looking at the top and not the center of the monitor. Number seven, make sure you keep your arms in a vertical position. In other words, you shouldn't be reaching out to adjust your keyboard or to operate your keyboard, but instead move in a little bit closer to your keyboard so your forearms can be right near your side. Arms should be parallel to the floor and you'll be in good shape for keeping yourself in good ergonomic position. Number eight, keyboard height is also important. Keyboard height should probably be elbow height. Rather, you're standing or sitting, elbow height is about the right position to keep your arms in a horizontal position. And tip number nine, make sure you keep that mouse near your side. Don't be reaching or having your mouse at a different position or elevation, you want to have your mouse located right next to the keyboard. If you follow these nine tips, what you'll find is you're going to be a lot more healthier, have a lot more energy at the end of the day, and you'll be so glad you made these few ergonomic improvements.